السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ہم بات کر رہے تھے انوائرمنٹل ریزروائر کی یہ پلاٹ ہو سکتے ہیں سائل ہو سکتا ہے واٹر ہو سکتا ہے ان دا انوائرمنٹ یہ ریزروائر فار سم انفیکشس ڈیزیز پوٹل آف ایکزٹ پوٹل آف ایکزٹ از دا پاتھ بائی وچ اے پیتھوجنز لیوز اٹس ہوسٹ یعنی کہ کسی بھی کوئی بھی آرگنیزم کیسے ٹرانسمٹ کرتا ہے ایگزٹ ہوتا ہے کسی ہو سے دا پورٹل آف ایگزٹ یوجلی کرسپونس ٹو دا سائٹ ویئر دا پیتھوج از لوکلائزڈ فار ایگزامپل انفلوئنس وارس ایگزٹ دا ریسپیریٹری ٹریک شسٹر سومس تھرو چورین کالر آف and feces some blood born ejects can exit by crossing the placenta from mother fetus rubella cephalic toxoplasmosis while other exit through cords or needles in the skin hepatitis b or blood sucking anthropos malaria <coughs> mode of transmission An infectious agent may be transmitted from its natural reservoirs to a susceptible host in different ways. Direct, direct contact, contact and droplet spread. Indirect, air bars, vehicle bars, vector bars, mechanical or biologist. Indirect transmission. An infectious agent is transferred from a reservoir. to a susceptible host by direct contact or droplet spread direct contact occurs through skin to skin contact kissing and sexual intercourse direct contact also refers to contact with soil or vegetation harboring infectious agents droplet spread refers to spray with relatively large short range aerosol produced by sneezing coughing or even talking <coughs> droplet spread is classified as direct because transmission is by direct spray over a few feet before the droplet falls to the ground pertussis and meningococcal infections are examples of diseases transmitted from an infected patient to a susceptible host by droplet spread Indirect transmission refers to the spread or transfer of an infectious agent from a reservoir to be used by a suspended air particles in animate objects, vehicles or animate intermediary vectors. Airborne transmission <coughs> occurs when infectious agents are carried by dust or droplet nuclei suspended in air. <coughs> Airborne dust includes material that has settled on surfaces and become resuspended by air currents as well as infectious particles blown from the soil by the wind droplet nuclei are dried residues of less than 5 microns in size <coughs> in contrast to droplets that fall to the ground within a few feet droplet nuclei may remain suspended in the air for long period of time and may be blown over great distances thank you very much